Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Constance and today's video is going to be a review slash first impressions using the new Jaclyn Hill Prep and Set Collection. So if you want to see me applying them and my thoughts, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I just got done putting on my foundation. So we're just going to jump right into the products that I have here from the new Jaclyn Hill Prep and Set Collection. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Last Act Translucent Setting Powder. And it looks just like this. Super pretty. Has a nice mirror right here. The packaging is super cute. This retails for $28. And it says, set your complexion with the Silky Smooth Press Powder for a flawless finish. Tips and tricks is this is best applied by swirling a medium or large fluffy brush into the pan and sweeping it all over your face. And if you prefer to press into skin, then pair it with a dry beauty sponge and then press it into your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a fluffy brush and set my foundation and just swirl it around like she says and set. And I'm avoiding the eye area because I'm gonna still put my um, concealer there and then try the other products that I have. Ooh. But I really like the finish of this translucent powder. It's super pretty. I don't see any like glitter or like, you know, shininess highlights. And I've seen that in other reviews, but I don't see it, but then I don't look flat either. So I don't know what is in this powder, but I like it so far. Okay, next I'm gonna put some concealer on. So this is the Boing Concealer in the shade number six. And this is the Cakeless Concealer. Do you guys remember when Boing used to be in like a pan and then you just put it on? That's how long I've been doing makeup for. Time flies for sure. So I only put a little bit, nothing too crazy. So inner corner and then lifting my eye, nothing too crazy, but sometimes I do like the full, you know, concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. And then we'll go in with the next product. So we're getting brightened underneath. All right, now that we are blended out, let's go in with the next product. So this is the Face It All Brightening and Setting Palette. And I got a light to medium. Super pretty and it has the nice big mirror, which I can appreciate. So this palette runs for $39. And this specific one, it, there is, so, whoop. So this is peach, oops, can't hold this right without like showing my whole lights at you guys, but hopefully you guys can see. So this one is peach and light banana and these are correctors and then almonds and caramel or caramel, whatever you'd like to call it, are brighteners. So correctors, brighteners. And this is brightener set or to be worn alone to blur and perfect. Um, let's see, tips and tricks. So use a damp beauty sponge to apply these is Jacqueline's favorite way. And you want to color correct dullness under eyes and then use the brighteners at the center of your face. You can set your eyeshadow primer or concealer and set cream contour or bronzer before following up with a powder contour or bronzer. So let's see how this performs. So I'm gonna do the damp beauty sponge and we're gonna go in with light banana first to I guess correct even though it looks like it's a brightener and she said a damp. So let me just go in. Ooh, I feel like that's that's a brightener and just press it in. I 
and then I bring extra on the lid to set. I definitely feel like that brightened my under eye like a lot. So let me go back and see what Light Banana says. So Light Banana is just a corrector, but I feel like it brightened it, but let's keep on going. Other eye. Does anyone else make weird faces while applying their makeup? I can't help it. Wow. That is very brightening. So that's definitely brightening, but we'll go in with Let's go in with caramel next, caramel, caramel, and we'll, I guess, brighten because I just corrected my under eyes, but I feel like it's looking really good. I look awake for sure, <laughs> but now let's go in and top it with the other color. So I don't notice you know, the biggest difference with topping it with the brightener. I feel like just sticking with one color will brighten your eyes. But I really love a bright under eye because I look awake. Wow, I look bright. Looking at the viewfinder, I look very bright and awake. What do you guys think? looking straight on it looks super good so i'm hoping you guys see the same thing and it's very finely milled so i'm not seeing any like craziness going on underneath my eyes so i would say yes this brightening no face it all brightening and setting palette i like it so far I feel like when I don't use concealer, I can just pop on these powders underneath and it'll give me a brightening look because I don't always wear concealer out there on foundation and then I'm out the door. So I can appreciate that I can brighten my eyes without concealer. So the next thing that I got was the bright, no, bake and brighten under eye powder. Super cute packaging. And I got it in the color light banana. This retails for $29 and there is 0.21 ounces in it. So not too, too much in there, but I feel like this is pretty fair pricing amongst other brands. So this is Bake and Brighten the Delicate Under Eye Area with this color neutralizing powder infused with rich shy butter and smoothing banana flour that's cool to help lock in moisture um set concealer without creasing for a totally flawless look just like jaclyn hill does so the brightening banana light banana helps neutralize dark circles and redness for light to medium skin tones and that's what i got so the tips and tricks on this is use a beauty sponge or a dense brush to gently press powder to set concealer, but I've already set concealer. You can also bake, but I'm not going to bake today with this. So what I'm going to do is Jack Hack on here. So she developed these shades for under your eyes but they actually work really well to clean up your contour. So what I'm gonna do is quickly bronze my face and then we'll get into this. I'm just loving the look right now. Okay, so I quickly bronzed up my face and now we'll go in with this powder, which I did open already, so there might be a lot. Yep, there's a lot of powder in there already. So I'm going to go in with a beauty sponge and clean up my bronzer. It's very um, pigmented. I like that. And I would normally put it in the lid, but look at that lid. It is super deep so I feel like it would be hard to get the product in the lid but let's try it real quick we'll just put a little bit we'll try it 
Ooh, oh, well, maybe I got a lot of product. Ooh, okay. Wow, that is very boom in your face. I love translucent powder, but loose translucent powder is so messy. It just gets all over the place. It don't matter what brand it is. I love this stuff, but it is messy. Oh, and I love this packaging. Like, you hear that click? Like, this is not gonna come off. Like, this is top-notch packaging. Jacqueline never disappoints in the packaging department. Oh my gosh, look at that. I got, got it everywhere. But yeah, so now I am baking, cleaning up my um, contour. So I'm loving how pigmented it is. I feel like if I put this underneath my eyes that it would be like, wow. Like my eyes, I would feel like I got 100 years of sleep. I already feel that way now. Like I just love the brightening of all these products. So if you're not into that look, then I do not recommend these products already, I can tell you. But this translucent setting powder, the compact one, I do already recommend. I feel like it gives a nice blurring effect to the face. And a plus is it doesn't get all over the place like this loose powder. So while this is baking, I don't know why I'm doing like little quotes, but baking, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some eyeshadow on, just like one color, put on some mascara, maybe some lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't do anything crazy on the eyes. I just popped on a little bit of eyeshadow, mascara, and eyeliner. So now let's just sweep away this powder. Oh. So I'm just taking that same brush that I set the translucent powder with and I feel like it's giving me a harsh line right here like it just stuck to my skin so I have to press hard to get rid of that harsh line but I mean it did a good job of cleaning up my contour but now I just feel like there's a harsh line there. I don't know if you can see it. But blending away. So that's interesting. But I just have to press harder. So that way there's not a super harsh line. But now there's not. So I like it. It definitely cleaned it up. Like it just wants to stay on my face. Let me know in the comments below if you have that same issue. I mean, I like it, but I'm like, there's a harsh line, so I don't want a harsh line when I'm walking around. So I have to really buff it out. And I feel like this doesn't happen to any of my other translucent powders, but with some effort, I can definitely blend away that harsh line. So that was everything that I got from the Jaclyn Hill Prep and Set Collection. And my final thoughts are I really like this translucent setting powder. This is the compact one. I really like this one. So yes, yes. And then I really do like this brightening and setting palette. Again, this is in the shade light medium. And I feel like it really brightened up my under eyes. I do like this powder, however, just because of the harsh line, I don't know if it's my foundation or I left it on too long or whatnot, but I, I just don't know yet about this as far as my first impressions. But if I bake underneath my eyes, I feel like it'd be super, super brightening as well. So this one is a maybe, of course, because I have it, I'll continue to use it. But for sure, I recommend these two products. I did not get to get my hands on the under eye primer that sold out really quickly, but I hear that you can just use the eye cream and it'll have the same effect. 
but I can't attest to that because I don't have it. That is something that I want to purchase in the future and I believe that was everything in her prep like complexion collection. Yes, I'm just reviewing it and that looks like everything in her collection. So final thought, yes on those two, maybe on this one. I need to play around with this one some more, but my face is super awake, brightened, blurred out like it's I mean I don't see a lot of pores and I have big pores on my skin so I definitely appreciate that I don't see any like creasing or peeling or anything crazy going on with my face just a lot of brightening which I love but that was it for my little first impressions of this new Jaclyn Hill set let me know what you guys think down in the comments below again thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys